guys, welcome to the DMX Show, I'm your host Shane. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the awesome new tool, it's called Kindle Fire Utility. It is by the developer uh, Vashi Poo from XDA Developers. And this is just an awesome, cool utility that allows you to root your Amazon Kindle on any version. Uh, utilizes the burrito root that came out several weeks ago, this just makes it a whole lot easier uh, to use. It has everything packaged together, including like your device drivers. You don't have to worry about ADB or SDK or anything like that. Uh, it's also going to uh, have a, t a tool in there to install the TWRP, the Team Win Root Project, uh, on the device so that you can have a custom recovery for installing your custom ROMs, making Android backups, things like that. And it has several other functions in there that we'll get into later, but today I'm going to show you guys how to root using this easy use. Uh, easy to use utility. So the first thing you want to do here is go to your Kindle Fire, go to settings and more, then go down to device and make sure this allow installation of applications is turned on. So with that turned on we'll go back, we'll go home, and we'll just go ahead and plug our Kindle Fire into the USB cable. Just plug that right in see here oh my goodness gracious we'll plug that in and as soon as that pops up we'll disconnect it just disconnect and we'll set this to the side for now okay now we're gonna open up our Kindle Fire utility <coughs> And you can install the drivers if you don't already have them installed. I already have my drivers installed, but it's there for you. It's simple. It's easy. And then you're just going to click on Run. And the first thing that you want to do here is select number 2 for the burrito root. Hit Enter. And it's going to run through and do its thing. Okay, and it says that it's successfully running in root mode. You see that this pops up after the application pops up. So now we'll hit enter again and disconnect. And we'll exit this application. So now we have temporary root on our phone. And let's see, if we go through here. So we don't have the super user push to our device yet. So we'll go in here and we'll go to 3 install permanent root. Select that. It should run through and do its thing. So we'll just kind of watch and see what it does here. It's rebooting my device. It says that the permanent root has been installed. And we're going to let this boot up and see if it truly did root my device that easily. While it's uh, rebooting here, we'll go through some of these other features here. They have an obtain stock update.zip here. Uh, so you can obtain the update.zip from Amazon to set your device back to factory settings. You can install the latest Team Win root project recovery here uh, for an Android backups and uh, ROM installs. There's some extras here if we go to 6. You can uh, install your Google Apps, lock the wallpaper or unlock the wallpaper and there's a few other options here. Uh, okay so let's go ahead and see if we have super user. Oh, we'll unplug this because it doesn't really need to be plugged in right now. Okay, so let's go to apps and look for the super user APK, which we have. Let's go to root check and see if it's rooted our device. Okay, verify root access. 
says, congratulations, you have root access. Uh, so it's just as easy as that. Uh, we've now rooted our Kindle Fire uh, just by basically punching a number and pressing enter. Couldn't get any, uh, could not be any easier than that. Guys, check out my website, droidmoderx.com, for the latest in news, ROMs, mods, and hacks for your Android device. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx with an E, not a 3, and subscribe to this channel. Uh, also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but in the link, there's there will be a link in the description with some instructions as well as the download link to this Kindle Fire utility. So be sure to click that link in the description and check that out as well. Guys, thanks for watching.